Now here's a story that goes without saying. It's, it's a wave of a hand. It's a whole new way of meaning, I guess. You can call it quickster. It could mean carrying cash or credit cards are a thing of the past. Malcolm Barbrandt is in Sweden with these details. It's lunchtime at Lund University and scores of students have come for their meal without a penny in their pockets. All they have to do is to remember a four-digit code and put their hand in a palm reader. The charge is then deducted from their bank accounts. Unlike credit cards, palms can't be cloned. It's really, really good and it's fast and you don't have to bring any cash and so it's very handy. They say it's really safe at least and I haven't had any problems at all. So I mean, it's, it's my hand. I, I don't think anyone has a copy of my hand laying around. Okay. Engineering student Frederick Liefland is the brains behind this biometric system. We use the vein structure in uh, your palm to identify you at the payment. It works in a way that we send infrared light at your hand and then we extract the vein structure in the palm. We see us as the third way to pay with. We have a cash payment and card payment and then Quickster. Uh, there's a lot of benefits with credit cards that I don't think we can replace, but we can be a faster and simpler solution to pay with. The team has spent the past 15 months quietly perfecting the system before trying to expand it. For the time being, it's only operational here within the campus at Lund University in southern Sweden. But the inventors are confident that within a couple of years, you'll be able to walk into a shop almost anywhere in the world and say, I'd like to pay with my palm, and that will be perfectly acceptable. Sitting amongst the other students on the campus, Leafland looks smart, confident and determined. What marks him out as being different is that he and his fellow developers could soon be multi-millionaires if their innovation takes off. There have been a lot of interest in the solution and the technology. And uh, we're, we're looking at to the best way to partner up with uh, other financial companies at the moment. Sweden may be on its way to becoming one of the world's first cashless societies, but there'll always be some businesses where electronic payments are resisted and cash is king. Malcolm Brabant, CCTV, Lund.